love the loyal and husband material men still single. And guys, I actually want your real opinion on this. I'm going to give you my top three reasons, and I want you to let me know if my reasons are valid or why you think they're still single. Reason number one is they are just simply not confident enough. They are the type of guy that doesn't really want to approach a girl at the bar, or he gets nervous when he talks to a girl. He can hold a conversation with anyone else, but when it comes to women, that's kind of just not his thing. I disagree. I think that last reason was just is just a way to make women feel better. But let's continue. Reason number two is that he's just more focused on himself and work. I know a lot of guys spend a lot of time trying to build their career, so that could be their top priority in life. I agree with this 1,000%. Your purpose should always come first, fellas. Stay on your square, keep your head down, and focus on your goals. Let's keep it moving. Reason number three is maybe that he just got out of a bad relationship or the relationship happened a long time ago and he's just worried about getting his heart broken again. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I got to agree with that one because once a brother has had his heart broken a time or two, he pretty much just checks out and pretty much just goes goes with the bachelor life, if I'm being honest. But I digress. Let's keep it moving. Drop that intro. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So I got a clip for you guys from tonight's conversation. Um they've seen they seem to have um, Miss Kitty on there as a regular, and I want y'all to pay attention to what she had to say on here, because she was cooking, and she made a reference to one of our favorite female panderers, and it was very interesting to see the reaction when she did mention this person. Check this out. A good man, but he's not your type. When it comes to types, okay, because we talked about this the last time, it's a pattern when it comes to your type, patterns and characteristics, okay? These are things that you have seen or that you have explored before. You've probably seen mama, Amy, friends, somebody who had a, spe a specific type or somebody in the neighborhood and you was like, oh, that's a bad boy, that's a dope boy, that's something like that. I like that because of the thrill. In certain spaces in your life, you cannot bring that type with you. So if you see that all other characteristics and behaviors are good, why does the type even matter? You can learn to love this person in other spaces outside of what you see as far as physicalities if you're talking about a type because maybe your type has a certain type of demeanor or maybe your type looks a certain type of way what is going to matter when you start facing conflict the way they look when you start going through communication barriers the way they look all of that's not going to matter i can guarantee you the majority of people who have probably married or entered into healthy relationships they weren't worried about a type when they got to a certain space they worry about what it is that you can actually bring into my life and as far as your looks and stuff, that, that just doesn't matter. How much money? Yeah, of course. But if we look at that type who said, oh, he a dreadhead. Oh, he's six foot something. Everything else. Derek Jackson is six foot something. That was cheating on his wife the whole time. Oh, no. And we hate to name drop here. Oh, was I not supposed to name drop? No, you good. You good. I'm sorry. And did y'all hear that reaction when she mentioned him? Did y'all hear that reaction? Because they know she was speaking facts. And this is what I mean. See, women need to start learning how to take more advice from married women like her, which I'm going to be doing a video on later on. Because she kept it all the way a buck with him. Or should I say them? My apologies. But how many times and how often have men tried to warn other women about Derek Jackson? We kept trying to tell y'all, bruh, he is the kind of guy that he's telling y'all to stay away from. He, man, when I tell y'all, he hit y'all with the ultimate okie doke. <laughs> and this man still got that. This man dead, damn near had a million subscribers. And till this day, still damn near got that many. After finding that out. So it just goes to show you, bruh, no matter how good of a man you are, if you don't specific, fit a specific type 
or if you aren't like this perfect unbelievable human being which nobody in this world is perfect but apparently most women think they are then it's like you don't seem to have a chance as hell bro and you cannot rest easy whatsoever no sense of peace as a matter of fact check out this next clip if he's kind, works hard, and doesn't cheat, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. That is just the absolute bare minimum of being in a relationship with someone. This is not exceptional. This is not extraordinary. It's also no longer enough. Just because these would qualify you as a good man does not, in fact, mean you are a good husband or a good partner. Because, again, these are the like the bare necessities. First and genuine question is what makes this woman so exceptional? The average woman in America is 175 pounds and is 5'4". She doesn't want to cook. She doesn't want to clean. She doesn't want to take care of her family. She traded the family for a nine to five job for a company that doesn't give a shit about her. So what makes these women exceptional? What a degree on the wall that a man doesn't care about, but I digress. Why is it that all of these women that have these laundry list of expectations have little to nothing to offer in return? Like make it make sense. Women nowadays have such high standards and expectations for their partners and such low standards and expectations for themselves. Make it make sense. And what is the real expectation if everything a man does is considered the bare minimum? Because what are these women doing that's not the bare minimum? These women have so many expectations that it doesn't even make sense anymore. And not only that, the goalposts will constantly change. They could meet a perfect man and he can have all of the requirements that she lists and then the list is just going to get longer and longer. And the worst part about it is that these women struggle with such low self-esteem that they put all of their expectations and their standards into someone else that can't even meet them in the first place. These women want men to constantly fill their cup while giving the men in their lives lukewarm water and they draw the line at making a man a sandwich. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being with someone that treats you well, who doesn't cheat, who makes you legitimately happy. So many women can't even be in the same room with their partners in silence and just coexist. Too many women are building up all of this resentment because they're nitpicking at everything that he's doing wrong instead of the thousand things that he's doing right. And these are the types of women that can never be happy because they're expecting their happiness to come from someone else rather than from within. Okay, bye. And it goes back to what I said earlier. The problem is, is that you got some women out here. Um, for real, you can argue it's majority. It seems like they're searching for perfection. It's like, I don't get it. It's like, you are not going to find the perfect man. And it's women out here that think men are looking for a perfect woman. No, we're just looking for a woman that fits. We're looking for a woman that fits what we got going on. Who fits my personality who fits into my life because there is no such thing as a perfect partner there's no such thing as a perfect husband perfect wife no nobody is perfect women really need to stop because that is what really holds women back from finding good men because good isn't good enough but y'all expect men to accept y'all only being good enough how does that add up? The math ain't mathing on that. Especially coming from this woman. Like, come on, man. That woman was mid as French toast. <laughs> Let's keep it moving, man. She wasn't even mid, bro. For real, for real. She was like a two or a three. But I digress, man. Let's move on. Y'all see this? The point of view, the girl that ghosted you is now your girlfriend. She only doubled back because the other dude didn't act right. That is the only reason why she doubled back. And or the one that she was interested in said, you know what? I don't want to be with you anymore. A woman that likes you is going to act right from the get go. All the game playing, all the immaturity should never really truly be a thing. But the problem is so many of you are so desperate to be in a relationship. You put this woman on a pedestal because she probably looked good to you. And so you think, well, it's OK. I love her. I'm going to show her that she should have picked me the first time. You're someone's second option. You were picked last in kickball. That's the feeling you should get when this happens, especially when you know she was talking to someone else and or she had options. The next time one of you get put in the situation of a girl ghosting you and then decides come back, just remember at that moment you was picked last in kickball and tell me if you should be as excited to be in that relationship. 
And I can tell you firsthand, I went through this before and this is gonna be my advice and I'm not saying you have to do this, but what I did in my situation was when she spun the block, I treated her the same way all those other guys that she chose before me treated her. You know what I mean? Smash and pass. You know what I mean? And stack my cash, as the brother Mark Cruz would say. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Men do not want a woman that needs them. Men want a woman that wants them. There's a huge difference there. The woman who needs a man expects him to provide and pay for everything because she can't provide for herself. These are the same women who have no job, no source of income, and they try to flip the script on men and try to make them feel inadequate, saying they need a man who can provide for both of them off of one income when it's just unrealistic for one. In this economy, excuse me, they're like, I don't need a job. I need a man who makes enough money for the both of us. Are you hearing yourself right now? When a woman has her own money, has her own job, then the man knows that he's not using him because she has nothing. When you're broke, you need a man to live, to survive. She might not even love you. She might just like what you can provide or what you do for her. I'm trying to finesse men for their money. A real woman doesn't need a man, doesn't need you. She wants you. Ladies, we, we need to have a talk. You dehumanize men to the point where they hate themselves. You sit there and you act like you're a 10 out of 10 woman because you know how to do your makeup, but as soon as it all comes off, you're nothing but a butterface. <clears throat> you're a cake face. You're both of them, which is sad. You know what? I don't want to go to insulting, but I mean, I'm, I'm a bit tired of seeing women just hate on men for no reason at this point. Men typically want to be with a soft woman who's going to give them nothing but peace at the end of their day, and you give them nothing but a headache at the end of their day. And also, if you hate men so much, why don't you go date a chick? <clears throat> oh, but that's because all chicks are becoming men as well. Because we're all acting like we're a bunch of dudes. Bruh. You hate on men for sleeping around with a bunch of women, but when you sleep around with a bunch of men, it's, it's sexual liberation. So, hypocritical as well, women. But it's fine. Keep doing that. You're leaving all the good men for me. I can have a choosing, so whatever. I'm about to piss some of y'all off, and this is absolutely directed at one person in particular, but there's a lot of you that could fit this shoe. Some of you bitches are quick to post about how there ain't no good men left, but you ain't shit either. Y'all will post about how there ain't no good men, but every other post on your fucking page is you at a party, you at the bar, you with your ass and titties hanging out for the whole damn world to see. Talking about a roster, talking about a wait list. And some of y'all will turn around and post that you want somebody to build with, but you ain't got no job. You don't cook, you don't clean. What are you going to contribute to this construction project that you claim to want so bad? You can't be trash and act like trash and expect to attract a man that's going to work five to seven days a week to support your sorry ass. Y'all have the audacity to want to be treated like a princess while you act like you belong to the streets. And the way some of y'all get so confused that you only attract pieces of shit, it's because you are a piece of shit. Damn, man, I think she just rejuvenated my love for country women. I, I, I forgot how sweet and um, more on the traditional side of things country women can be. Uh, fellas, if you are not going to be a passport bro, um, when it comes to the West, country women and Midwestern women, that would be, that's probably where you want to aim at. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.